name is Kirk Kavara and welcome to my studio. The biggest influence in my work is my grandmother. Um, she was a wonderful and resourceful lady. She was a great maker. Um, she used to knit, crochet, macrame. She had a loom on her basement and she would um, make her own material that she would later embroider or dye on the colours that she needed. And I still remember how she taught me how to knit when I was um, five years old, sitting on her lap. And it has stayed with me until this day. So the body work for the exhibition really started when I came across these towels that were originally made by my grandmother. Later, when she had passed away, my mother would cut the towels and she would create her own to make them more kind of contemporary. So with my work, I use these same kind of thoughts, how you have something old that maybe is not anymore so useful for us, or we don't maybe see the value anymore, but we've decided to keep it. And so I have this collection of items and I add things to them, kind of the juxtaposition of old and new, and I give them the contemporary new feel. And the yellow work is very much kind of on a time limit because it's the two spools that I found on her thread chest where she kept her threads and so my yellow collection is only using of those threads and I guess once it's finished it's gonna be time for a new era. It's wonderful how a different people come to see my work and they all see something different because it speaks to them or it evokes some maybe memories on them the way, you know, sitting down with a child and knit probably brings me back memories with my childhood. One of the yellow works is actually a, a bag clasp, which was given to me for a wonderful artist called Maria Melizzi, who passed me down the piece and said, there's a rule that you have to create something with it. And I'm so happy that this lockdown has brought on this kind of spur of inspiration and it actually became a piece. It's called Wine Finding Its Place and I think that brings down to kind of to the situation that we all have had for the last six months or even more for some. How we use our space becomes kind of hot topic because we all have to adjust how we how we respond to the space and I'm very lucky that I have my space in my studio that I could um, almost hide away and create work and kind of respond to this and then I can kind of go back in to my family and, and be this other person but I had that freedom to create. Thank you.